Just a quick video on how I make my light beat rigs. Loads of different ways to do them, but it's just the way I personally do it. Rovex 10X, under pound. Take a nice length of it off. Gonna be making a pulley rig today, but um, make sure you give yourself plenty of length on there. But a 1 uh possibly a Sakuma, I think. It's been in the box for a while. Let's see if we can get this under pump line to work. Can't get, uh, can't get it to go in. Just cut it at an angle. A bit of a point on the line. Go straight in. One, two, three, four. Through bit of saliva, pull down tight. Get the tag end off. That there's a six O catfish hook. So you want to put it in that way. And if you line it roughly about there, what I do then is you're going to start wrapping the line around the hook now. So the first one's quite awkward, but once you get them going, and then one, two, that's about three. So what you want to do now is come back. I don't know what good this is with the line, but back through the eye of the hook. Make sure you keep hold of it until it's through. And that's what you got then. You can pull that tight now. That's it. Essentially what you're doing then is just baiting this up with some worm, a bit of mackerel or something for a white then. He takes it in his mouth. Use that nice big hook then. Nice and proud to catch. Maybe a nice bass, nice cod. Just comes in, takes a lot. So you finish the rig off now. Swivel, it's one of Cedra's crane swivels from VMO. Nice and tight. Trim the tag end. line again just making a pulley rig now that's all this is I use 100 pound for as well. Um, these catfish hooks, depending on what size they are, don't really fit. Well, they fit in, but I find that angle sometimes they don't release. So, using the 100 pound, what I do then is clip that hook in. Now, it'll always release in. And just measure this out now. Tend to leave about that much gap. And cut 
Up over there. Let's get out of the way. Pulley bead. Could use a swivel again if you wanted to. I prefer the pulley beads. Could use an imp. This is just personal preference for me. Saliva. I've got a proper knot pull up. These are worth buying if you make your own rigs. Literally, just pull it all down tight. Trim your tag end. And that is my live bait rig. See, so clip that in there. And that's it. I'll attach a little bit of footage now after this. Um, white in our back in. So I was out just testing some new rigs and things. Um, got plenty of white in. It's a bit windy though, so I was using my T1200 sentries. I couldn't really tell if the white dim were on or not. It's like such a stiff rod. But um, did manage to catch a couple of fish. We had some doggies, white din, um, a little small light, some strap eels. Um, most of the fish came to this rig. So, thanks again, guys. I'll just play the footage now. Just a quick look on my live bait rig. Didn't know he was on there, but uh, I'd have left him out otherwise. But that's the idea of it. Guess he hooked down his neck. And you're left with a big catfish or a circle on the end. Ready for someone to come in and grab him. Nice to see the white in the boat again now. It's game on now. Another fish to the live bait rig. Big fat dog that is. Strip of bluey on a light bait rig. Let's get him off. Another fish to the light bait rig. That's a better white then. Yeah, the idea of that is that hook sits down in there and that fish flaps around and anything that comes along in and takes a fish, bang, straight over the top. Get him back out there. Another one to the live bait rig. That's how we want them. Some nice uh, conga baits to freeze down anyway, so. Got a little excited with the live bait rig. A little small light I've taken it. So chances are that, a little bit of sand deal. But, fish is a fish. Dragon little one. Let's go again.